What's up, people? Tonight, I actually want to go over something because I spoke about it once before, and it's regarding fingerprinting. Now, because of the Fifth Amendment and our right to remain private, because of the government restrictions and our right to remain private and our personal effects, which consist of our fingerprints, I spoke about it before where Davis v. Mississippi there has to be probable cause within a case or within the matter itself where your fingerprints are required. So even in needing or having to fingerprint you, it has to have a valid reason because again, the original set or original reason for fingerprinting someone was to actually keep track of inmates now we understand that the, it is a part of the identification of criminals act so now when we go back today we're discussing Hayes v Florida 470 US 811 1985 and it's mainly because I have a young man that contacted me in regards to a statute in the area he's in in California which he re he refused a field sobriety test so he was then taken down to the police station and fingerprinted he was later let go because again one of the aspects of proven sobriety is the field sobriety test if you don't take the test they one don't have any evidence that you were inebriated. Two, you are also remaining silent. Three, the aspect they had to have a crime in order to stop your locomotion, which has to be damage to the person or damage to someone's property. And we understand because of Delaware v. Prowse, they can't just randomly stop you. Even if you've been going in and out of the medium for more than 45 seconds it is not allowed so therefore even getting your fingerprints they need probable cause and that's where Hayes v Florida comes in and the actual verdict this is what it held this is the precedent that was set by this case where there was no probable cause to arrest no consent and no prior judicial authorization fingerprinting purposes violate the petitioner's right under the fourth amendment so basically again they have to have probable cause they have to have a reason to be there detainment even when it becomes arrest such as terry v ohio it states if it is not done properly which means if it is not done with a crime if they stopped your locomotion without a crime being committed, it is a violation. If they stopped your locomotion because of a perceived exercising of a privilege, it is a violation because a misapprehension of law is still a violation. So understanding this and now understanding even this aspect of fingerprinting with Hayes v. Florida, you understand that every aspect of your rights need to be defended, even fingerprints. Because just like I spoke about earlier in Law and Order, man only has the rights he can defend. Until you defend them, you don't have them. This is why I'm trying to offer you information to arm yourself to prepare for defending them. So, need probable cause even for your fingerprints, even for the stop, even to have a conversation with you unless you consent. So, learn the words, I do not consent, remain silent, and then fight and defend. Require them to do their job properly.
and hold them liable in federal court. Until next time.